Hello guys, I'm Unblessed Data, and welcome to another review. This time we have Hannibal, Season 1, Episode 12. Only one more episode to the season finale of Hannibal, the first season. It's just been such a great ride so far. Cannot wait to see what happens in the season finale. But let's get right into Episode 12's review. Before I get right into it, I just let you know that it will contain spoilers. So if you do not want to know what happened, go watch episode and come back. Now... Now that I said they're spoilers, let's get right into it. I thought this episode was very interesting, and I d actually did really enjoy it. I thought it was pretty good, like every episode of Hannibal. But this episode focused basically on Will, and basically everyone pinning stuff on Will, and almost trying to convince Will and everyone else that Will is actually the copycat killer that we've seen throughout the first season. Obviously, we know that's Hannibal, but, again, they don't know who it is, so they're trying to figure it out. And, you know, it goes back. Is it Abigail? Is it Will? And, you know what? It all gets put on Will. I feel really bad for the guy, but, yeah. We'll go through each event right now, tell you what happened. Just a nice recap if you missed the episode. Uh, let's get right into it. So, Will, right at the beginning of the episode, goes and visits the girl from a couple episodes back. The one that actually cut the person's face... Uh, right off to try to like peel a mask because she thought it was a mask her and and she's in like a nice uh, I don't even know what what you would really call it but it's obviously a uh, medical instrument but she's laying down in it and it actually the whole container that she's in is filled with uh, oxygen so that she can breathe much easier but you can see and she so she's enclosed in this little like almost capsule like thing and you can see her arm where the skin got peeled off by will and it just looks gross, and it looks so real. I have to give him props for that. But uh, Will's there. He actually has an IV bag, so he's actually in there, and he's been treated for, like, a fever. Obviously, we seen him black out last episode after he killed um, the would-be copycat killer, Dr. Gideon. So he's in there talking to her, and, you know, he's saying, like, oh, you know, are they ever going to figure out what's wrong with you? And basically she says, you know, they're never going to find out what's wrong with me or you. They're going to blame it on this. They're going to say it's this, but wait, no, it's not. They're never going to come to a conclusion. And Will even brings up, you know, you know, do you remember anything that you did? And if, you, you know, when you get treated, you're probably going to remember some of it, most likely. And she says, you know, I might remember what I did, but I don't want to remember. And I wouldn't either, you know. She didn't kill these people on purpose. She killed it because she has a mental disability. And, you know, I wouldn't really want to know what I did to all these people when I really didn't mean to. So that'd be something that would really haunt me. And I just, you know, I'm putting myself in to the shoes of this of this woman. And it's like, you know what? This is kind of horrible. Um, so she even says, you know, I dreamed you killed the doctor, and but I couldn't see your face. Now, obviously, we know that the person that she couldn't see her face was actually Hannibal. And Hannibal killed the doctor. But again, this is kind of making Will think, did I actually kill these people? Am I the copycat killer? Like, when I have these blackouts, do I kill people? That's really where it's going here. And this kind of even pinned it more on him, even though she's just guessing, even though really what's well, Hannibal. She's just guessing who it was. Um, so then after that, Hannibal brings chicken soup to Will, because Will's still in the hospital. He brings him, uh, not in the hospital, in his little... Uh, house so he, uh, Hannibal brings him chicken soup it's very reminiscent of the first like first or second episode of this uh, series because you know Will Hannibal brought Will some food and they're eating it in front of like a nice little window and they're sitting down and talking um, and it's just like the exact same scene and, and, you know it's kind of like it all came full circle and we're seeing what happened in the beginning again that's kind of what it I felt like to me but it was really cool to see that again and um, yeah they just start talking and stuff and they even, like, Hannibal's just trying to find out more information about the woman, like, how's her recovery, you know, what's going on with her, blah, 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 just casual talk. But we can see in the next clip that it actually pertains to what's going to happen. We actually see the woman in the, her little capsule of uh, O2, or oxygen gas, and she's in there, and she's just, you know, having a good time, whatever, and she has a comb. She picks it up, and she starts combing her hair. Then there's just a spark on her hair all of a sudden. Bam, the whole thing just is filled with fire and she's burnt to a crisp at first i was like wait is this hallucination is she hallucinating no it actually happened she's killed by who well it's actually hannibal he planned out the whole thing manipulated everyone and actually set this so that she would actually kill herself by accident and make it look like you know he wasn't a part of it at all 
So, yeah, she's just burnt to a crisp, and they're saying, oh, maybe it's most likely a short circuit and everything, you know, the FBI's in here at this point, and obviously it's not, and they kind of figure out what it is after, but, you know. Then we see a little scene with Freddie and Abigail, Freddie's a reporter, if you don't know, and Abigail is the Hobbs' daughter, the killer, from the couple first episodes, but they start talking, and they're even, they're further in talks into making this book, and it looks like almost like they're 100% sure they're making it, they're talking about chapter settings and all this, blah, 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 you know, they're making the book, which, again, Will and Hannibal said, you know, that's a bad idea, but they still are. So then we go to Will, and he's sleeping in his little bed, and then all of a sudden, he, he just opens his eyes for a quick second, and he sees the woman that just died, the one that was burnt to a crisp, and she's walking along but she looks like disease like we saw her in the beginning under the bed that's what she looks like but she's standing right in front of will and she starts walking away and it's almost as like the best thing i can describe too is if almost if she's like lagging like there's an input lag and she's kind of like just twitching and walking away like that's the best way i can just see it and she walks outside and will follows her and then she says see see and then antlers go through her body just like, you know, the Hobbs and the copycat killer. Then there's the fire, and then there's, like, the moose or deer that Will's been seeing, like, this past whole season. So, what does this mean? Well, obviously it means that she was murdered by the copycat killer. That's the best thing, because, look, the horns going through her, I mean, the horns, the antlers going through her, same thing that happened to all the other ones. So, Will's kind of putting this together, and he goes straight to da Jack and tells him right away, you know, I don't think this was an accident. She was killed. She was murdered. And then, like, oh, by who, and w what makes you think this? Will figures it out right there. He says, you know, whoever killed the doctor, whoever killed Abigail's friend, they're all connected, and it's all the copycat killer. And he put it together right away. All he has to figure out now is that it's Hannibal. But, of course, he's not going to figure that out. But Will did put it all together. And you know what? It's almost as like if Will isn't suffering from a mental disability anymore. He seems perfectly fine. But, again, we see it come back and resurface later in the episode. So he's not totally 100%. But he's a, little, a lot more clear at, at this point. And, basically, she, she even said to Jack, you know, she even said someone was there. Uh, when she seen the doctor get killed, but she couldn't see her face. All right, well, this is all evidence is pointing. Yeah, these, all these killings are maybe put, are connected and are maybe the copycat killer. So then they find a piece of plastic while they're going through the evidence of you know, her like burnt crisp body, and they pretty much figure out that there it's a comb, this piece of plastic, and Will just says, you know what, that's the murder weapon. That had to be it. You know, the doctor was killed similar to the first uh, killing of that what she did cut, you know, their mouth open, but not in the same exact way. The doctor's head was almost cut completely off, just really, really hinged. So it's almost the same. Same thing with Abigail's friend, killed in a similar way. I mean, uh, not Abigail's friend. Right in the beginning, the one where th um, the, she was, like, resting on the antlers in a field. Killed similar way that Hobbs did, but not the exact same way. It was more presented, more... You know, is more of a show. So again, these killings have been similar, but not all the way there. That's how Will figured out that this was the copycat killer. It's the same, but slightly different. It has to be the copycat killer, and that's basically what happened. And he says, you know, maybe she he she seen her face, the killer's face, the copycat killer, and that's why he killed her. We'll put it all together. So now Jack is talking to Hannibal. And they're talking about Will and Abigail, what's their connection, you know, is Will, like, really obsessed with her, what's going on, and, you know, the, another really cool point came up, that, it was really, like, a quote, but I thought it was really awesome, it's like, you know, they're talking about Will and saying, you know, maybe his mind works in such a different way, that we just don't know what to call it, and we're calling it a mental disability. You know what? That's really smart, and I love the writing in Hannibal, just so smart, it just makes you think, you gotta think the whole time you're watching the show, or else you're gonna get lost. Um, but just great entertainment. And at this point, Jack knows everything about Will. He has this, like, mental disability. He's been hallucinating, blah, blah, blah. Jack knows now. So, in an interesting twist, Jack goes to see Hannibal's psychiatrist. And, you know, she, he says right away, I suspect Dr. Hannibal is hiding info about a murder case about William Graham. And, you know, he, she says right away, no, I can't say anything, you know, confidentiality, like, thing here. I'm not allowed to say anything. That's the point of being a psychiatrist. They can tell me whatever they want, but I can't release it. And he brings up something very interesting. We find out more about Hannibal's psychiatrist, and he basically says, you know what? Okay, let's talk about you. I know you were attacked by a former patient, 
and that former patient was actually Dr. Lecter's patient, and he, and he was transferred to you. And he, oh, and then she says right away, oh, you know, he swallowed on his own tongue. The only thing that saved me was that. Like, if he didn't accidentally choke on his tongue, I would have been killed. Then Jack brings up, you know, Hannibal was just recently attacked by another one of his patients. Like, don't you find that weird? Does he have a strange relationship between all of his patients? And, you know, he's like, okay, then, you know, he's connecting things now. And he even says, how far do you think Hannibal would go to protect, to treat a patient? How far do you think he would go to protect a friend like Will Graham? How far would he go? You know what? Jack is putting it together, too. It's all revelations at this point in this episode. You know, Will's finding out all the stuff about the copycat killer. Jack's finding all of this about this stuff about Hannibal. That's what this episode's all focusing on. You know, how far would he go? That's, that's a really good question. At this point, she says, you know, I know he's concerned about Will. I don't know how far he would go, but I know he cares about him. So, at this point, Jack tells all the other FBI agents to try and co connect the killings to the copycat. All the killings. Just find everything you can about Hobbs. You know, something will surface and we'll figure something out. That's what he tells them. So, at this point, we see Will and Abigail talking. And they, they're actually talking about them killing people. And this episode, Will does find out that Abigail was helping Hobbs kill these people. And she killed Nicholas. Obviously, he already knew that. But, you know, he, he's saying, you know... This is what Abigail was saying. She said, I felt good killing Nicholas. And Jack's kind of relating himself to it. Like, you know, I felt scared and then powerful when I killed Hobbs. And she's like, you you liked it, didn't you? I liked killing and you look like killing. That's really creepy. And it, you know what? Will is honestly turning into a psychopath himself. Because, Will really, he's putting himself into all these people's shoes. And I don't think he can take it much longer. Um. So, yeah, that, that was a really cool moment, I think. But... Yeah. Then at this point, Will says, you know what? I'm going to catch the copycat killer and you're going to help me. So then Lecter goes back to his psychiatrist and she says right away, you know, they're suspecting that you're protecting Will. And she says, stop what you're doing with Will. It's not good. You know, just stop. And he, she even says, you know, she, he asked me about the attack. And Hannibal says, what'd you tell him? He says, you know, just half truths. I didn't say not how, when, by who, what happened. And she even says, you know what? Hannibal, you're, cl you're crossing boundaries. Stop. She's saying that. She's. I think she's concerned about Hannibal. But at this point, we find out that, you know what? Hannibal was probably involved in the killing of this patient. And was it really a, an attack? Or did Hannibal actually kill this person just to kill him? We don't know. And does this bring up another option? Does the Hannibal psychiatrist know that he's a killer? It's a possibility now. So, Will and Hannibal talk at this point, and Will just basically says, you know, I feel clearer now, it must have been the fever, everything's good, but he retells everything he's figured out about the copycat killer to Hannibal. Hannibal's a copycat killer, so he has the upper edge now, he's one step ahead of everyone, and he knows how to plan his next attacks to manipulate everyone. And that's kind of like the irony of the show, that Hannibal basically knows everything, what they're doing, the FBI, and he's the killer. So, and... Will even says, you know, it could be anyone. The copycat could be anyone here, anyone in the police force, anything. And he says, you know what, I'm going to reconstruct his thinking. I'm going to bring Abigail back to the log cabin with Hobbs, you know, the one that Hobbs was at, and I'm going to figure everything out. So then Jack figures out that Abigail was actually the bait for Hobbs. And, um, he, yeah. So he knows right away now that Abigail was lying to him, and, you know, that must hurt. But... The, the thing about that is, now Jack knows he's going to go straight to Abigail. And will Abigail confess everything? Most likely, she will, because what is else she's going to do at this point? Yeah, Will and Hannibal have been protecting her, but she's not going to do anything else. What? She's going to be put in jail. She knows that. Um, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much what, what happened there. So then, Jack barges into Lecter's office, and he says, You know, what's happening between Will and Abigail? Tell me. And at this point, Hannibal just spills all the beans, tells him everything about Will's state, and, you know, you should hear this. And he, and then he plays this recording of him saying, you know, I, I felt like I killed her, I feel like Hobbs, I'm, you know, all this stuff, and kind of pinning that he's almost like a serial killer. And, yeah, even at this point, Hannibal says, you know, sorry, like, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, Jack, like, I, I think he, you know, he's actually a killer. So he's pinning everything, Hannibal's pinning all of this onto Will, saying that he's a copycat killer. Why would he do this if, if Will is his friend? Well, he has to spill 
all this blame onto someone. He doesn't want to get get caught, obviously. So I think, you know, his well-being is more important than his friendship with Will at this point. And that's uh, basically what I'm, what I'm, what I'm thinking here. Um, so then Will brings Abigail to the cabin. They fly over there. And Will asks Abigail what she did. And he finds out at this point that he that she was helping Hobbs kill the people and she was the lure. At this point, Will's having, like, basically a panic attack, and he picks up Abigail and shoves her into, you know, the antlers, but then it was just a hallucination. No, 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 no. It's confusing, really confusing. And, you know, Abigail says, you know, there's something wrong with you, and he's twitching, shaking, sweating, and then just Will wakes up on a plane by himself. What's reality at this point? Really confusing, but we don't really know, but they actually did go to, to the cabin, but Will went back, you know, blanked out, and Abigail ran away. So, Abigail's by herself at this point, and she goes to her old house. She walks inside, and Hannibal is waiting there. Really odd. So, then he tells Abigail right away, you know, Jack knows everything. And she's like, oh, you know, like, she's all scared and everything. And he says, you know, they're probably going to arrest you. And knowing that she's pretty much doomed at this point, she says, you know, why did you call that day? Why did you call my dad that day? This is where it gets really interesting. Hannibal just says... You know, I was just curious what would happen if I warned your dad before the FBI came. I just wanted to see what happened. And, you know, I was curious about, you know, what would you do? Would you stand up? I was curious when you killed Nick, what would happen next? I was just curious. That's crazy. Hannibal put all these people in danger, manipulated all these people just to see what would happen. Just because he wanted to. That is ridiculously crazy that Hannibal is capable of doing all this for basically nothing. His motivation is because he was bored and he just wants to see what happens. That is crazy. And he, she even asked him, you know, how many people have you killed? And he says, many more than your father. What is going on? Hannibal's revealing everything to Abigail at this point. Why? I think he's going to kill her at this point and then everything's going to be blamed right on Will because Will was alone with Abigail. He, Will killed Abigail. That's probably where it's going to go and he's just going to pin more and more stuff on Will. And at this point... Hannibal wants to observe Will and what's happening with his mental disability. Uh, this this is going to really push it over the top. And I'm sure he wants to see what would happen and observe what the consequences of that is. And at the last, last scene of this episode, Abigail says, are you going to kill me? And all Hannibal says is, I'm sorry, Abigail, I couldn't protect you. And the episode ends. What a great episode and what a giant cliffhanger. We don't know if, if he's going to kill Abigail, but... It looks like it's gonna happen. So overall, I thought this was an amazing episode. Really builds it up for the last episode. I'm sad it's the last episode too. I wish this show had like a 500 episodes. I, I would watch them all honestly. But surprisingly, the show does have low ratings, which is ridiculous because the show is amazing. And you know what? Tell all your friends about the show. Tell them to watch it because I want the show to stay for a while. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.